Okay, it's time for the big shootout. The audio amplifier power test. I'm going to measure the maximum clean power of all these amplifiers I've built. Of course, this is the latest build here. This I built after this one, but it was more of an upgrade. This one is one I built oh, probably 17 years ago. And these are just a bunch of smaller ones I've built. Now, to find out how you measure the maximum clean power of an audio amplifier, I made a video about a year or a year and a half ago or so. and explains it pretty well. So I'm not going to you know, get into the explanation pretty deeply here, but quickly, um, you take an um, amplifier under test and feed it a clean sine wave signal and you put a load resistor on it, non-inductive. You can't use a speaker because speaker impedance varies over the frequency range and it'll throw your test. To be able to hear the point of clipping, I added a uh, relatively high resistance, 330 ohms, and a speaker connected to that. And because of that high resistance, it really doesn't disturb the test any, but allows you to adjust the amplifier for clipping. Another way to do it is use an oscilloscope and adjust the amplifier until the top and bottom of the sine wave clips. Using a, a very good meter, has to be a good quality true RMS meter. This one will go up to 400 hertz accurately for true RMS measurements. I'm going to measure across that load, find that voltage, and you put it into this formula. You take the voltage, the output voltage squared, divided by your load resistance. Very simple. So, first, I'm going to hook this amplifier up and test it out. Okay, the first amplifier is set up using its companion power supply that was made for it. Two 4 ohm loads, doing both channels driven. So here we go. You can hear it clipping. So I backed it off so it just stops clipping. 9.22 volts. So, see what kind of wattage it does. 9.22, square that, divided by 4. 21.25. Great. Well, I wanted to get about 20 watts per channel from this amplifier. And it's really, like I said, it's really up to the power supply to do its job. So I'm getting uh, just exactly right in the neighborhood what I wanted, 21.25 watts. Excellent. I was thinking I might get as low as 18, which I'd be happy with, but great. Perfect. Just what I wanted. So I will test this at 8 ohm loads to see what it does. It should be a little more than half of that, so it might be around 12 watts. Let's see how correct I am. I switched out the load resistors for the 8 ohm ones, and we're ready to go here. Okay, right about. 10.71 10.71 Got to square that and divide it by 8 Now to say 14.3 watts I'm going to look at this amplifier now Now this amplifier and this one are exactly the same inside. The circuits are the same. It's a TDA 2050 chips. And if you watch the other video, you see they're pretty much the same. They both have the, the 
10k uh, volume pot gains are set the same the only difference is this has an older supply I use with it and it's much weaker so uh, I should not get the same amount of power now if I hook this one up to here which I can't because I don't have that same type of power connector so I can't hook it up but if I could I would get the exact same output power okay just hooked up the 8 ohms first because you know all these clips were hooked up so makes it simpler the 5 hertz Eight point one four. Point one four. Square that. Divided by eight ohms. Yep, that's much less. Eight point two eight. Uh, so I'm writing these down here. Eight point. I'll just round it to eight point three. So, interesting. Definitely is much weaker. Here's the supply. It's plugged into the wall behind the couch, so I don't want to move it out, but I'm just using a 12.6 volt transformer. Well, it's actually a 25.2 uh, with center tap for two 12.6 volt leads. Well, as you remember, I wound this up to like 14 and a half volts, so that's why you're seeing that difference. Okay, I'll come back with the 4 ohm. Okay, 4 ohm loads are hooked up. There's clipping. Wow, has our output dropped? 6.31. Six point three one squared divided by four ohms nine point nine five so we'll just round it say ten ten watts so wow that supply really sagged under load and you know we had uh, eight point three before and with eight ohm loads and with Four and it only went up 1.7 watts so this supply is really sagging under load and I uh, forgot to mention that it's only a, uh, a 2 amp transformer and it's the one Radio Shack used to sell hmm I seem to have something wrong with this power supply I figured I'd break in and take a look at it here. It's going to get a focus here. See, it's clean. I get into clipping. Oh, we got to wait. 125 hertz. There we go. The top of the waveform clips earlier and it's bouncing around. That's telling me. Oh, I just moved this, and it, uh, or, oh, that might have been the CD player. So I got to check this power supply. Okay, there's the power supply. We built this thing many years ago with that amplifier. And here's the bridge, and it does seem to be bad. And it's not like I don't have any spares. So, I'll unsolder this and put the new one in and um, come back when I get that put in. Alright, finished. New bridge is installed. Here's the bad one. I've already tested it and it's working just fine again. Okay, retesting this amplifier after repairing 
the bad bridge and the power supply over here. Look at that. Come on, focus. 125 hertz. Now it clips symmetrically. No more of that weird you know, hump, uh, jumping uh, waveform. Perfect. Well, I already measured the voltage or the uh, power and it was 14.3 watts. Before it was only 10 watts. So that made a pretty big difference. Well, I will retest it at 8 ohms and see how that has improved. Well, I set it up, tested it at 8 ohms, both channels driven, and it put out 10.2 watts per channel. So it improved over the 8.3. And again, at 4 ohms, it went from 10 to 14.3. Well, I will try to continue on with the test again. But, if you look at the time there, it's past 11, and I have to get up in the morning and work. I'm going to have to uh, continue this at another time. But through the magic of video editing, it'll all appear in nice, one long video.